What's going on, Salt Strong Nation? Coming back at you with part two of Luke and I's trip to Bay Flats Lodge. And if you didn't get a chance to see part one where we targeted redfish with popping corks and live shrimp, there's a bunch of cool tips and awesome fun footage in there. Definitely go check that video out. I'll include a link below. Now, after we got back in from that first day of fishing, we got a really cool tour of everything the lodge has to offer from the operations manager, TJ, who offered to take us out on the next day of fishing, which is what you guys are gonna be seeing in this video now. So me and Luke are out here in Sea Drift in Bay Flats, and we are out here with the operations manager, TJ, who's actually landing a fish as we speak. What you got there, boss? Oh, nice red. Trout. Oh my gosh, that is a trout. That's a huge trout. Hot dog. On the baby verge. That is a dog, man. Very Oh the gosh. Right there. Heck yeah. Way to go, TJ. Sounds like we're in the right spot, and uh, by the looks of it, there's some quality fish over here. He's back. <laughs> He's back. Me and Luke are about to jump in the water, do some wade fishing, and we're going to come back and do some tips on live bait as well, but uh, I think we're going to have a good morning of fishing with all this fog here. So while we waited for the fog to start burning off, we kind of got a chance to watch TJ work his magic with some of these piggy perch. And we knew we were going to do a lot of live bait fishing later in the day, but me and Luke wanted to get some wading in and test out some new lures in the Texas waters. Now TJ really was wearing them out with those piggy perch. It was really fun to watch that while the fog was still rolling. And uh, we managed to get some really cool tips, which we'll be sharing a little later in the video. But uh, as he continued to kind of pick those trout and redfish off, Luke and I got in the water and started fishing the island that you saw him casting at. And I decided to start with the mulligan because it balances a good small bait fish presentation with a little bit of a larger profile. So still in that kind of transition period where fish are kind of keying in on some larger bait, you just saw that mullet jump and just wanted to make sure that I was matching the hatch. And as you guys will see here in a second, paid off pretty well for me. Here we go. That's nice. There we go. Right up on that point. Classic spot to find a fish. Looking for an easy meal on a flat like this. Look at that, that's my first fish on that mulligan. Really pretty red fish. All this wind is moving this bait right up against this little island and that point right there, whew, off he goes. All that bait's gonna move down this shoreline, that point, perfect little ambush spot. And that was exactly where I picked that guy up. There's a bunch of bait right there. Heck yeah. There we go. That was perfect. Feels like a decent trout. Yeah, not bad. I mean, that nervous, oh, off he goes, quick release. Me and Luke were literally just talking about all that nervous bait right there on that point. Again, just continuing to move down. That red came from right there. Now the trout there. So Luke and I continued to wade around in this little marsh bowl area. Again, the isolated island made for a really good attractor for predator fish uh, as it was an area that we knew bait was going to be staging. So it was easy to kind of quickly move through there and pick off some fish. But we looked back over and TJ was drifting, still picking up some pretty nice fish. Woo! Looks like TJ's got himself a hoss. Big old red. Oh yeah, it looks like a solid one. What's that, 26, 27? Yeah. Nice. So with all of the spread out structure, those kind of broken up islands, the areas that me and Luke were just waiting, kind of spread out all over the marsh, we decided we'd jump in the boat with TJ and start drifting as we'd be able to cover a little bit more ground in the boat with the trolling motor and try and pick up some more fish. All right, so we're making a little switch, gonna fish some potholes from the boat. It's just looking too pretty out here. Water's getting real clear. 
some good sight fishing opportunities up ahead. How'd you find all these spots? Is years of just going out and yeah. testing yeah. on new areas? Yeah. yeah. This is a pretty good hike from. There we go. Yeah. There's so much water. It's really strange. On to Bama. Nice trout. Bing. That's your back, fella. Goes right into that grass. Perfect ambush predator. So watching TJ fish got me and Luke a little interested in trying to fish with some live bait. He was getting a lot of strikes and attention, and this was just a, a unique type of fishing that Luke and I don't normally do a whole lot of, so we wanted to test it out. And even as we were getting rigged up, TJ was catching tons of redfish and trout with these piggy perch, and really the approach is simple, a 5 ot kale hook, uh, through the belly of one of these piggy perch to kind of keep them down and keep them croaking uh, and get the attention of some nearby redfish or trout. Now the retrieve and presentation is pretty simple. Just lift your rod tip up high, keep that line tight and make sure that you are twitching it enough to keep the piggy perch kind of croaking around and hang on because that bite's going to be coming pretty fast. Bing! TJ's on. Still got your piggy perch too. I'm gonna throw them back out there and catch another one. <laughs> two, two for one or man. Use that pinfish again. Literally very next cast. I hadn't even got my camera back on from the last fish. So if you guys missed that, TJ literally caught a fish with a piggy perch and then still managed to somehow keep that pig fish on and caught another one with the next one. So that was really cool. Didn't get my camera to completely roll through both fish. But here's Luke right here doing the same thing. Casted that uh, pig fish out, twitched it a little bit, and just set the hook on another nice red. Yeah, that was a solid one. Felt that thump. I see it's a red. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Came up just like a trout. On the perch. You got us sold on piggy perch. <laughs> yeah. in the corner awesome stuff so Luke got that red fish back or it got itself back if you see that there but the next catch was incredible literally biggest trout of the whole trip Luke unfortunately did not have his GoPro rolling but again just got that pig fish out there gave it a couple twitches and the bite was on come to Texas I want a trout darn it <laughs> this is that thing something <laughs> I got Very you. Nice. I think the chunk is too. The corner of the mouth. Yeah, right where it's supposed to be. Nice fish. Let me get on the set side. Get a picture. Show me that guy, Luke. Wow. wow. Goodness, so definitely an incredible catch and after that trout we moved on to our next spot where we wanted to try and film some of the tips on exactly how to fish these pig fish the lighting we figured would just be a little bit better over here and uh, it just highlighted a just good spot that we felt like we'd be able to pick some more fish off on video uh, and as you guys can see here we got some action right off the bat unfortunately Luke ended up losing this fish you can probably tell exactly when that happened by the synchronized groan
overgrown and slouch, but we still managed to pick off a few here at this point, as you'll see here in a second. There she is. Piggy Perch does it again. Look at that. Whoop. Thank you, Trout. Back you go. Perfect one right here. Already jiving. Oh yeah. Yep. Sand, sand the sure looks good. Oh. Nice. <laughs> right, we were just talking. Oh. <laughs> Hot dog, man. We were looking at that sand pocket. Me and Luke were talking about it, and it was just like. Mm. Oh, that's a nice red. There we go. Yep, red. I'm cool with that, man. <laughs> Thank you for playing, Mr. Red. Very nice. Right in the corner of the mouth. As all live bait hookups should be. Oh. Now it would be wrong of me if I didn't share TJ's tutorial on exactly how to fish these piggy perch. So here is TJ live in action showing you guys exactly how to rig them, how to present them, and he actually manages to catch a nice one on film during the tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoy. There's a couple of different sizes. I like about, I like that size right there. It's about the size, about three inches, maybe four inches long. And when you hook in it, you just want to hook it right there. It's the perfect spot for it. And so we're, we're using a five aught kill hook here. And this kill hook is a Mustad Ultra Point. And here's the package that we're using today. And it's a five, size five aught. If the piggy perch are a little bit smaller, you can use a four aught hook. But if you get any bigger than what we have here in our hand, you're going to want to go to a six aught. Bring them up here. You want to throw them out. Try to keep it straight downwind so you can feel the line because we're free lining them. All you want to do is hold your rod tip straight up in the air. And every once in a while, you want to pop the rod. And when you pop the rod like that, you're only popping the tip of the rod. And when you pop the tip of the rod, it makes them start to grunt. And when he starts to grunt, it attracts the fish. But so, just want to pop him a little bit. Don't want to drag him. You don't want to like, you don't want to drag him back and forth. You just want to pop him, just the tip of the rod. And then when you feel the thump, it's going to be a, a thump like that. You'll feel it more down in the bottom of the rod than up in the top of the tip. When you feel the pin, when you feel the tip tipping back and forth like that, that's just the piggy getting nervous. And so when you got the rod up like this and you feel a bite, you feel a little thump, you gonna, he's gonna go, the fish is gonna pull away. So the trout's going away, the red's going away, you let him take the rod down and get the line tight and then set the hook. So you let them have time to get it, in, get it in their mouth. If you set the hook right away, as soon as they hit it, you're gonna pull it away from them every time. Oh, I just got bit. Look, watch, here it is. Oh. Trout. Big old red. That's how it works. 
Well, TJ definitely made a piggy perch believer out of me. I usually just use lures, but as you guys can see, both of them work today, lures and live bait. So big thanks to TJ for putting on a show for us. And if you guys want to experience some of this awesome Texas fishing, definitely check out Bay Flats Lodge and book with them because it was really cool to come down here and experience this. But if you're looking to learn how to catch fish like we did in this video today, picking the right spots, using the right lures and baits, definitely check us out over at saltstrong.com. We're the number one online fishing club for anglers because we actually guarantee with our courses and tips, we're going to help you catch more fish. We've got our new Smart Fishing Spots app that actually shows you where fish are going to be feeding throughout the day so you can stay on the bite. You'll be saving money on tackle, catching more fish, and making a lot of new fishing buddies fast. So thank you again so much for watching, and we'll see you over in the Insider community soon.